we are back and we are currently halfway through champion rank but the ranking up does seem to be much slower in champion so it'll probably still be several more like solid games before we get to unreal not really sure where i want to land with this bus Uh, I was contemplating going pleasant, but I guess we'll just go classy again because it's late in the bus path, but kind of wish I went pleasant. Try to get glider locked over this lake. Hmm. I think my drop is going to be bad. I don't want to say what I want to say and jinx it, but... Okay, yeah, this is not good at all. Luckily, he's kind of going to the other side. It seems like. In the bottom, I think. Oof. That was a risky play, but I just thought it was the best thing to do to get away from the grenades. It's like I can either push them or shockwave through or just maybe eat those grenades, try to back up. I didn't think I could back up and get away from the grenades though. And then pushing through We've run the risk of him just beaming me or sticking me with a grenade while throwing them. So, shockwaving through the wall, ending up behind him, makes that an easier kill. Still takes some damage from the grenades, but like, yeah, I didn't think there was any way I wasn't taking damage from those grenades. The fire bending. Excellent. Classy once again gives me the legendary nemesis with the, the four, uh, 1.3. I'm just going to go ahead and use these because I don't know if there's anybody else here. I don't think there is. I think someone landed at the train station. Yeah, I hear a car now. I don't know where that car is. All the time I spend not looting is wasted. If we do potentially get into a fight. One thing I, I'm happy to have this nemesis with a sight on it. Over an AR without a sight, but like gatekeeper and a nemesis is not the greatest like, uh, set up in my opinion like if I do have to swap to my yard to finish a kill game feels very laggy right now I've said this many times but like I don't know 50 ping and ranked feels much worse to me than like 100 in pubs Give me all the snipers, but I'm not going to run a sniper. That way I can get mobility and a cover item. I feel like having both makes your life a lot easier. I'm not sure where that player in the car ended up going. We do have a GY again. I think I looted most of this. Oh, 
I was contemplating landing here at one point. Like I said in the last video at one point, like not knowing this location and then going to fight somebody here in one of these like kind of more low key spots can definitely be an advantage for the player that has like knowledge of the POI. Not as much in zero build and build mode. That's something that's like a really big deal because like knowing where to get your mats is important, but also like knowing where you can and can't build in the POI because there's like certain spots where you can't build in like every building pretty much. And just like knowing that can be a huge deal. But zero build is not as big of a deal, but I still think kind of a non-traditional landing spot like that favors the person that has more knowledge of it. There's somebody here. Okay, I heard someone swapping weapons, but it was me. It was weird. I definitely hear footsteps, though. That's his NPC. So the player's got to be around there somewhere for his NPC to just be chilling like that. I wonder if there's a window on this side. There's not. There's another car pulling up. This is what I've talked about many times with like the risk reward to fighting. Because like, I would like to get this kill. But also... All the time we spend worrying about this person, potentially make ourselves an easier target for third parties. They gotta be somewhere near that AI, unless they told their AI to stand there, which I think is unlikely. By default, the AI is in the tower. Not sure how none of those shots hit. 70 damage. This person doesn't seem to be the greatest. Red men. I was going to say, they don't seem to be the greatest with how they've played this. Like, so passive, you know? I feel like it's one thing to hide in a house because you hear a car coming and you're like, okay, I'll just kind of do nothing and maybe that person will pass. Once I'm, like, actually looking for him and, like, spraying out walls and stuff, I, I would expect most people to do something but i just didn't want to like drop in on him like hiding in who knows what corner you know like i wanted to take that fight from the roof not good i don't have the most heals i think they're in that bush I don't have the most ARM either, which is like one of the reasons why I wanted to get that kill. I feel like I need more stuff. Need more heals, need more ammo. More bunkers would be nice as well. Just did 80 damage to him. He's just gonna be gone, which is fine. I'm content just looting this. This area doesn't sound like looted, which is great for me. Play with some green health vegetables I didn't eat that someone's typing a comment about me missing now. The thing about making these videos is. It is incredibly mentally taxing to like play this game while explaining as much as you can while doing so. Especially like 
in ranked when I'm trying to make every single game a video. So like little things definitely do get missed sometimes. Dang man. No heal spawned in uh, Reckless, is why nobody landed here. I hear another wind person, I think, or air. Like, naming these things is so tilting, the bender mythic. Like, I call the water one ice sometimes, and then I call the air one wind sometimes. Which is like, it's the same thing, but like, yeah, I don't know. Or like, they mean basically the same thing. Another ending in this biome. Reckless was good to me though. I would have liked to get a heal other than minis, but we got our medium ammo and I got more bunkers. Biz would have been the best thing to find there, I think, just because like there wasn't that much for me to loot. So like just you find one fizz and then you're good, you know? You don't gotta find like two or three of it or two or three spawns of it. Alrighty then. Surprised nobody's camping this. Let's get out of here. Odd that I got no better heals. I know I could drive the car in there, but I just wanted to get in and out real quick. And like the chest not being looted is not a surefire sign that nobody's in there because some people will be cheeky and kind of have the mindset that like my loot is already good. But I don't really need this chest. So I can just bait it and then maybe get a kill on an unsuspecting person coming in. But I would rather leave the car outside just because I just want to get in and out real quick. I don't I don't want to like drive the car in and then like get stuck in there because I have the car, you know. But you can't drive the car in and out like I feel like somewhat easily. It's just like, I don't know, the cars in this game are weird sometimes. Like I've had times where it just goes seamless and then times where it's just like the, the car is getting stuck on like everything and anything, you know. Confused what's going on here. Because every medallion is here. And they're trying to get the Brawler's Battleground one. Depending on the angle this guy takes, we can maybe just fire him. All right, never mind. But my game just felt so laggy there. I was hoping he would come right at me and we just beam him. Especially now having like the uh, Warforged there over the Nemesis, I feel like much more able to like fry people out of the air mythic. I was hoping this was unlooted, maybe. I really do not like just having minis.
so just confused. I'm like thinking that, I don't know. I'm like kind of suspecting that both these people are very passive because they've both just been chilling here for a very long time. I need to go though because my car is running out of gas. To get as far off of it as we can. Wow, we did not get very far at all. There's still somebody on Brawler's Battleground just like hopping around. Really? That's tragic. This zone is kind of scuffed. Most of it is water. Getting on that island would be so huge if it gets zone. Like having forecast would be so nice here. But also at the same time. Like if it... You kind of don't have any potential to get kills, I feel like. I might just go for it anyways. This only has 35%, but I don't think I'm going to get much out of minis anyways. And the Fizz could be really helpful for getting off this island if zone pulls off because we can Fizz shock. If we make it to that point and still have Fizz. Definitely were people here, but I, this one it surprised me as like a spot that people land at for ranked. There is somebody here still. I wish I had sprint. Like I talked about earlier on the other like low key spot, fighting something that you have no knowledge of versus people that potentially do. Not great. All right, zone pulled terribly. Oh, Air Mythic would be nice for rotating across this water. How do I get into this building? I just want to get out of here. I heard him like coming. I was trying to find this launch pad. We need to get out of here ASAP. Because medallion. People are going to know. Where did I drop those minis? But yeah, I was just trying to get to that launch pad and leave. Like once I saw it didn't get zone. And then the other guy that was there, or potentially one of the people that was there. I don't know if it was multiple were creeping around. I don't know why that... uh. That guy chased me there. Superhero chasing me into the water was kind of not a good play by them. It was like not great for me that I had to invest my bunkers, but that's like one of those times where it's like I can choose to either die or make it further in the game with lots of bunkers than I would like. And yeah, probably making it further in the game with lots of bunkers is better. Hopefully there's no one in this house. Running with the bunkers out in case I get shot. Make it into zone. Imagine I got sniped just as I was saying that. The bush here. I don't know if there's somebody in it. And then there's somebody in those bushes. Zone just goes to Brawler's Battleground. Is there a way up though? It doesn't seem like there's like a convenient way up for me. Somebody in that bunker I just saw. Hopefully no one's camping this. Chilled bubbles.
I just want to ping zone. And see, like, where in Broad Oak Crawlers I have to actually make it to. I'm thinking of trying to hold people to get kills. And then just shockwaving in a zone. I'm dead. Right, he's leaving. Dude, having that fizz would be great right now. I think it pulls up a mountain. I think it's like pretty much impossible for me to survive this. I might just need to kill somebody and take an airbender mythic. Wait, why is that mini not getting used? Okay. I think there might have been an airbender mythic on the ground there, but I'm like getting sniped again. Yeah, I feel like this is a game where I'm just going to be playing for a few exit kills. I feel like there's like no much I, not much I could do there. I thought I was like the latest to rotate so I could like look and get some kills maybe, but then that guy just beams me in the back with like no heals or anything. Even if I keep shockwaving and like put another bunker, I just don't even know if like I get anything off that. I feel like that game was unplayable at that point. We're back and I think I'm going to be landing Pleasant Piazza this game. Just with how this bus path is. I kind of wanted to go fencing to be honest, but when I got on but like I'm so bad at bar drops and like yeah we'll, we'll just go Pleasant Piazza it's okay part of me also kind of wants to go reckless I've enjoyed going reckless this season a lot more than last but I just don't know how contested this foot is. I haven't gone there much often. Or what I was going to say was I don't go there very often, like, when I play pubs. Because, like, it doesn't rotate into, like, Grim Gate area very well. But that's, like, probably another spot I could go for in ranked. Because I'm not as concerned about getting the Grim Gate medallion. Like, when I play pubs, if I, if I go Grim Gate and die, it's no big deal to me. But in ranked, especially trying to make every game I play a video, I, I don't want to just, like get third party fighting the wolves you know or just like get into one of those like really chaotic chain third party situations that can happen at grimgate my drop isn't the greatest i don't think i should land here i think i'm gonna land here we'll see what these people do though ideally they both land on that building that's what i would like okay we'll just get this side oh he actually went across to there so there's at least three of us here and we're all in like very different spots of the poi which is like oh no Oh, never mind. He pushed him. I was going to say it's good in the sense that I don't just get, like, landed on in barrel stuff, but bad in the sense that we might get into, like, a stalemate situation after we've looted a bit where, like, I'm just kind of looking to, like, third party them and they're looking to third party me and everyone's kind of scared to make a move. That guy just got involved over there and there's two back-to-back -back fights. Unfortunately, I have, like, no way to get involved there. If I got, like, an auto shotgun and a Warforged Air or something off the rip, I would be, like, very inclined to go for that. This is air mythic, I think. Yeah. If it was water mythic, again, I, I would probably be ready to go get involved. But now so much time has passed that we're, like, not even really third-partying anything there, you know? 
even if they were weak, which it doesn't sound like it. Each time there was a fight, I only heard like one set of shots, you know? But even if they were weak, enough time has passed where that player could have healed. Seems like there was more shots over there, but I don't see anything. Genuinely, it might be. Oh no, never mind. I thought it was a uh, ranger pistol. I was gonna say it might be better to have the gold ranger pistol than the warforged gray with no sight on it. Which people get really bent out of shape with me like not min maxing my weapons at all times like i'll have like a green warforged and then find a blue nemesis and they don't understand why i wouldn't take that a lot of times when playing this game especially streaming and when recording these videos it's very like task saturating or like overwhelming at times trying to like talk about things potentially unrelated to the current moment in game while playing the game so like i just like using the same stuff because i'm kind of like on autopilot a lot when playing the game like it's not some people can't even like call out when they die you know it's not easy to carry on like a completely separate conversation sometimes like it, it's a lot harder than just playing the game normally is what I'm trying to say. The water bending mythic. Like, I'm. I don't know, man. I kind of want to take that. I don't like the War Fort with Thermal. But at the same time. like gatekeeper shotgun into that like if i don't get the kill and three shots of my gatekeeper shotgun feels very bad to me like if i was content with carrying three weapons right now i probably would take that water bending mythic and then just kind of have the a weapon to follow up with the gatekeeper and then the Water mini mythic for range because I think it is significantly better at range than the Warforge with no sight on it or the Warforge with thermal sight on it. But only two weapons. I just don't like that animation when swapping off of the gatekeeper to it and then having to, like, you know, I don't know, just like the animation of pulling the gun out is weird. But it's definitely very good. Maybe I should just take it. I don't know. I didn't take those earlier. See, that's like kind of what I was talking about. I was just not paying attention to the game in that moment. Radio Tower will spawn here. We can check if there's anything going on here. I believe the person that landed on my POI is somewhere around here. I want to see... Okay, yeah. What I was going to say is I want to check the chests at this camp and see if they're looted. They are. The player is on the hill using the air mythic. Or at least there's one player there. There's potentially another player on the ground that the guards are shooting. I don't know if this guy knows I'm here. He should, though. I don't know what's going on. Still just up there. Okay, he's pushing something now. I want these guards to not shoot at me.
Because they're fighting over here, I think. I might take the big pot over these flashes too. Just because I feel like I'm more likely to find big pots than I am splashes. That's not great though. I was hoping they would fight and then I could third party their fight maybe. But I don't... Like the guy like left with the air mythic and then I don't know where the other person was. But that was what I was hoping for there. Like I, I was playing for the kill more than the radio tower. The radio tower in theory isn't going anywhere, you know? Especially when I'm just like sitting on it. Like where he has to put the card in. If he decides to kill the guards and then try to put the card in and we can like get timing on him off that, that's like great for me. But he chose to just air mythic away and then I look to third party that fight, but don't see anything. This guy's using MP grenades, that's lovely. I wish I had Cerberus dashes. Oh no. He just hit me with the car. Like that's kind of like what I was talking about earlier. With the water mythic and gatekeeper shotgun. Like it just doesn't feel good to swap to. So I was like not confident doing so. I don't know how he gets away there, man. That's sad. I couldn't like jump off the thing as fast as I wanted. He might be in here. This is a different person. I'm just gonna go for it. I don't see them. Oh, that's bad. Oh no. This is so terrible, man. I didn't reload the thing. I wanted to shockwave up and then water down on him, but I couldn't like see him when I did it because he was in the house. And then I tried to reload the water, swap to the gatekeeper. The water didn't actually reload. Gatekeeper him to death almost, and then the water is not loaded when I swap to it. Like as bad as things could possibly be there, man. That was a freak. I feel like both those kills were so free as well. Like that's crazy to me. I don't get either of those. Like I understand that I didn't, but like, I don't know. I just feel like I should have been able to. Not that I got, like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, the game didn't grief me or screw me over. It's just, like, very unfortunate timing. And then, even with, like, a lot of those things not going my way at all. I still almost killed both of them. Someone's still trying to get Grim Gate Medallion this late in the game. An unlooted god chest there. Same thing I talked about earlier. I like, don't want to be involved in this. I just want to leave this area. Like obviously, I would love to have the Grim Gate Medallion, but I don't think it's likely to occur. No sprint, by the way. I thought I had some. I don't know why I have none. I feel like it had been so long since I sprinted there.
gonna run the shockwaves out. In case I get shot. People fighting there. Guy coming to me somewhat. That's unfortunate. Now they fight. Like, I just, like, fizz is onto me for no reason and then goes and fights someone else. I do not understand Fortnite players at all. He's gonna fight me. Oh no. I feel like I can't like just chill this game. That guy might think that other person down there is the person he's chasing. He's got drift in his name and he's using the drift skin. I think this is the play. Earth mythic over two bunkers. I'd rather have the bunkers, but I don't know how likely it is I find more bunkers and I think I need more than two to win the game. I believe there is a player down there. I don't think that guy just killed him. I'm going to get a little bit closer and see if there's uh, ammo. There is ammo next to those guns in a big pot. I think that's worth taking the risk. So I guess he got that kill as this person went in. Two more bunkers. I see no Warforged JRs though. Oh shoot, I forgot to get the big putts. I wish I had more dashes so I could dash up this hill. Not much damage, it's only over shield. He probably gets away. I wonder if there's an airbender mythic in the bottom of this. We had him like over a hundred-ish? Like close to a hundred? Okay. Let's take this over the shockwaves. That's kind of what I was saying. That's why I didn't mind using the shockwaves to kill him there because I kind of wanted to check and see if there was an airbender mythic in that bunker anyways. Because uh, like I was talking about before with like when I was going to take the earth mythic over bunkers even though I like bunkers more than the earth mythic. The limited amount of bunkers I had and the I didn't think I was going to be able to get more. So I was down to... Um, Take the Earth Mythic instead, and then Shockwaves there. I'd rather have Shockwaves than the Air Mythic, but how likely am I to find more Shockwaves this game? Not very minimal, or not very likely, so I could just use the Shocks, maybe get that kill. Even if I don't get the kill, I was going to take the Air Mythic anyways. Hopefully that makes sense. It's been a weird game, though. Like, so much missed potential this match, I feel like. I'm 
some farming damage. I don't know if I'm supposed to lead with this or just use it like a hit scan. I know it has good bullet velocity, but it's like obviously a bit different if they're using the air mythic. And I don't get any tags on those players, but this is like a very all or nothing weapon, I feel like. Like if I hit them at all, I'm probably going to do a good amount of damage with them like driving at me like that because you hit three ice cycles. I just want that car to leave. Ember. The waste bunkers here because of that. I waste the one to fight him and then he shockwaved me out, which is a good play. Oh no, I didn't want to drop down here like that. I guess it works, that guy was shooting at me, but. I desperately want to reload my shotgun. I don't know why this guy is so eager to fight me here. This is like bad for both of us to be like forcing fights here. I kind of did it to that guy because I felt like I had no other choice. But this guy like shockwaving down to fight me and then shockwaving me out of the bunker. That's like two shockwaves he puts into a kill that he doesn't even get. I think I just want to late rotate with air mythic and then bunker. I think there was more bunkers on that kill. Dang. If I wasn't trashed with this thing, that's potentially decent text. I think you can loot while in the air mythic. I really don't use it very much. So I think I'm just going to wait to use it and then drive over my that kill I got and see if I can get bunkers out of that. This is what I was talking about though. When I was saying that like the weapon is all or nothing, like the damage we just got on that life. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that at all. I didn't mean to exit it. I don't know why that happened. I was just going to drive over that loot and then hopefully get the extra bunkers and then go about my day. That was what I wanted to do. I think I like miss hit my bumper or something. Again, I don't know what that guy's doing. It's like a better situation for both of us here if we just ignore each other. Because we both got ahead of zone. I, I feel like if you're him there, just leave me be. I would have left him be. And then he can look out kind of like this door and hold the lobby. And then I can look out like another way and hold the lobby. And then like we're both better off for it. But forcing a fight here just makes it... Even more likely that you get third partied, I think. Like, it, I don't know. I feel like people think they have to shoot at people all the time when they really do not. I get if I started griefing him, then just, like, try to defend yourself. Like, I did the same thing. I'm dead to these. I didn't realize that guy was going on me. I'm, like, again, too, like, more focused on what I'm talking about than the game. Was this this Anakin that I should have killed earlier on in the game? That's tragic. That's tragic. 